What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel for another video. We are still out here on the property today working. We've been out here working since about 8 a.m. If y'all haven't seen the video that is on my channel directly before this one, this will butt right up to the end of that one. I decided to split it into two just because there was too much footage and it was going to end up being a four hour long video or something crazy like that. So y'all, this is your first time here on the channel. My name is Jack and this channel essentially follows me and restore my great grandfather's hundred acre mountaintop property here in the Appalachian mountains of Virginia, as well as following me on my outdoor adventures in hunting, fishing, spear fishing, and basically everything else outdoors except for flying. Um, so if that kind of content interests y'all, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel. If it doesn't go on and get out of here. And if you don't care, we're just happy that you're here. So uh, stick around for a little while, watch this video. Video, maybe go watch some other ones. Any type of support that you have for this channel is greatly appreciated. So I'm gonna quit rambling and we're gonna get directly into what we're doing today. So what we did earlier was we, I don't know if y'all can see my truck back there, but we cut everything on this side of this game trail up to the power lines uh, with the brush cutter. And then we fed a whole bunch of stuff through the wood chipper. What we're gonna do now, <laughs> wait, before I end that statement, <laughs> Right when I was leaving that field, two big rats came flying out in front of me and I ripped both of them with my nine millimeter. And I don't mean to brag, but it was really sweet. So if you wanna see some of that stuff, go back and watch the video before this. Um, but what are we doing today? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back on the brush cutter and get moving up through here and try to knock some of this brush out of here. Now this isn't so much for the hunting aspect of this channel. This is more so for the aesthetic of this portion of the property. And also for me, the next time that I come out here, I'm gonna be cutting these trees and getting them out of the field. Uh, there was an ice storm about, I don't know, a year and a half, almost two years ago. No, it was probably almost a year and a half ago that knocked down a whole bunch of trees, the evergreen trees that are on the property. And they just haven't been cleaned up, obviously. And uh, so it needs to be done and I'm gonna have to do that at some point in time. So. I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm gonna go down here and get the DRXL, DR Pro XL30 fired up and get it running. And we're gonna get to running through all of this brush back here. Hopefully I run into some more rats. <laughs> so if this is content that interests y'all, please stick around. If not, see ya. All right, y'all. So even though this thing is still pretty full, um, I'm gonna go ahead and top it off just so I don't have to stop while I'm working. Um, this thing does pretty well on fuel, but, uh, you know, when you're running it for three and four hours, you are going to have to fill her up, so. All right, let's get rolling.
so I walked down to the truck to go get some water because uh, this hill's about whipped my butt here. I mean, y'all can see I cleared out this this section pretty pretty good right here. Um, a smart person would have gone this way and not made themselves walk up and down this hill probably 30, 40 times. But uh, I just keep proving myself more and more um, with every video. So legs are dead. Walked down to go get some water. Spilt taco sauce all over my seats because that's what I had for lunch. And uh, as you can see, the sky is not looking very happy. So. I'm going to try to knock this stuff out back behind me and probably close this one out. Um, I, I don't see myself really getting any of these trees out of here. They're all so tangled up in, in each other. I don't, I don't see it as being a, a small job by any means. Um, yeah, this wind's kicking up pretty good. So I'm going to try to get uh, the rest of this stuff knocked out and then uh, clean this up, get it put away, head off the property so I don't get stuck in here and all the mud that, that this creates. So, um, all right, let's get back to it. Tell me something good. Just drop the camera on the ground. <laughs> oh lord, the camera's cord. y'all so i've been sitting here waiting for a break in this wind the wind is picking up and it's blowing in a storm and i think that i'm gonna head out of here off of this property but overall for today i'm pretty happy with the amount of work that i got done um i got all the way from down at the trail that um that leads to the bottom land cleared all the way up to the apple orchard that's back behind me so um it's a pretty good amount of work as well as <laughs> clearing out two rats that were uh, inhabiting the area which they had it coming for them but but uh I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> if you guys didn't see that in the last video, go back and watch that. Um, I highly recommend it. Some good content. But with that, guys, I can't say enough good things about this DR Pro XL30 that I'm sitting on right here. Everything that I've thrown at it, it's just chewed straight through, and uh, it hasn't had any type of a problem. It hasn't complained one time, which is which is just awesome. So. Um, Guys, that's going to be it for me here on the Appalachian Farmhand channel. If you like this content and you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button, and come back and join us in the next one.